Hey guys, welcome to Geek Tech TV. Now today we're going to go over how to swap a hard drive inside a laptop. Now the process will be pretty much the same for all laptops. First things first, you want to take out the battery. So you can see at the bottom there, I've gone ahead and removed the battery. Now on each laptop, you'll have a back panel. Here we can see on this back panel, it shows us that underneath the panel, we've got a hard drive, which is the very utmost left logo, followed closely by a wireless card, then our RAM, as well as our optical drive. So what we're going to do first is remove this back panel. So let me go ahead and zoom out here so you can see a little bit better. Now, excuse the jittery camera. Uh, it was a one-man operation. I've gone ahead and already pried the panel up a little bit to remove the clip. Some laptops will have this secured by a screw. Uh, some will have a clip system. Some will have both. So essentially, you want to look for a panel that has that symbol. You want to take it out, and here we go. We've got our RAM over there. We've got our wireless card right next to our RAM. We've got our optical drive, which is held in by this one screw over here. So we take that out. We can take out the optical drive. And last but not least, we've got our hard drive, which is held together by four screws here and here. All I'm going to do here is using the magic of the internet is unscrew these at super speed, and I will slow back down once that's done. Most hard drives in a laptop will be held together by a plate. Now, it could either be a sliding plate or it could be a screw-on plate like the one here. So, once we've got all the screws off, you'll see that we will flip the plate over and the hard drive is attached to said plate. So, once we've got it flipped over, you can see that the hard drive is connected via a SATA cable and it's connected to the plate. Now, the next step is to take the screws off the plate and the hard drive. So that's quite simple. There's four screws to on each side. I'll go ahead and speed that up as well, and uh, we'll be right back as soon as that's out. Alrighty, now that we've got all of those four screws off, this back panel should simply just come off. So let's go ahead and lift it away, and we reveal our hard drive. So you can see now that we've just got the bare hard drive, it's attached there by our SATA cable. So um, we can go ahead and just take that right out. That's nice and simple. That uh, clips off easy as pie. And the next step is obviously for us to go ahead and replace this. I'm going to replace it with a 120 gigabyte Samsung SSD. Now this is the 840 Evo, which is a gorgeous drive and I thoroughly recommend it. Uh, so all we're going to do is basically take out the hard drive, put it back on to the plate. But before we put it onto the plate, we need to make sure you plug it in. So go ahead and make sure it fits in the right way. Basically, there is only one way it can fit in. So you can't really screw this step up. Once you put your SATA cable back in, we're going to go ahead and put the hard drive back into the plate, just like it was, essentially reversing the order that we took before. So that's nice and simple. We've got the hard drive in there. Now it's time to go ahead and speed things up really super fast and go ahead and screw this in. And I'm going to make it sound like I'm speaking really, really fast, but I'm really, really not. Uh, but anyway, in short, all we want to do is we want to go ahead and screw those in. So like I said, there's two on each side. You'll see that there are... Um, sort of like, uh, I suppose, rubber stickers um, or flaps on each side of the hard drive. That's so when the hard drive sits inside the laptop, there's no vibration because obviously normal hard drives have moving parts and SSD does not. So that's all four screws in. And the next step is obviously to go ahead and sit the hard drive down in its place. So go ahead and make sure that the cable is snugly in there. Mine looks fantastic. Hard drive looks awesome. Everything's going on track. We're going to go ahead and put the hard drive back down in its place. Um, make sure that it fits in there, okay, just as it did before. It shouldn't be a problem at all. And the next step is, again, super speed screwing, um, which should totally be an Olympic sport. And uh, we're going to go ahead and screw these last four screws back in. So again, what you want to do is you want to try and do this in a diagonal motion. You don't want to put too much pressure on any given side, and you want it to be hand tightened. Now, not tightened to the point where you strain yourself to the end. You just want it to tighten enough that, you know, there's enough pressure to sort of keep it in there and not wiggle around. 
once you're done, you go ahead and make sure, inspect everything, make sure you've used all the screws that you took out. The last thing you want is have leftover screws. And we're simply going to go ahead and put our panel back on. Now, this wasn't a screw-on panel. It was just a simple clip-on panel. So I'm just going to go ahead and find the alignment. Uh, I believe it goes down first and then left, but uh, it's going to take me a second to figure it out here. The first time I took it out, obviously, I pried it open a little bit with a screwdriver, which you should totally do but be careful not to cause any damage to the plastic. And we simply go ahead and clip everything back into place. Um, hang on. This is being a bit tricky. Let's play bend the plastic. That's the cool thing about plastic. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and clip this back. And, and voila, Bob's your uncle. That's the end of the job. Once again, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you found this helpful. Look for the hard drive symbol under your laptop. Like I said, it's usually held together either via a screw or a panel like I've shown you or both. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found that helpful and entertaining. Have yourself a wonderful day. Feel free to comment and subscribe if this video has helped you and uh, oh there's one last thing we forgot we obviously forgot to put back in the battery which you want to do and that's just as simple as sliding that baby in and there you go thank you very much for watching everyone rate comment subscribe well no you can't rate anymore thank you very much for watching everyone like comment and subscribe i'll see you later this is geek tech tv out